I've, I've never, I don't think I've ever been brave enough to freestyle and also because of the doing the TV stuff, they would never leave that up to chance. But I, I, I would say it's not freestyle. I wouldn't uh, ever describe it as that. I would say it's responding between the lines. It's, it's, it's know your script, know where you are, and then be able to fly off it and be able to come back because you know where you are so well. And I think that's the real, in a way, that's the hardest bit. That's the challenge. Yeah. And yes, I've definitely been in that situation where, yeah, for sure, in my close-up. Um, you deal yeah. with real people in the moment. So I think you're yeah. selling yourself a little short if that's what you're saying. Yeah. You it's don't... not like I don't interact. I'm not sort of like behind the screen and just doing the same thing every time. Of course not. Um, and I have, and, and also in TV, I think when you're, I've always found, say, doing hidden camera stuff gives you much more, I don't for me, a, a sort of room to, to improv, say. You're just having a conversation with somebody as a person. As soon as they see you as a magician, there's a sort of imbalance. So they're kind of waiting for you to take the reins and do what you need to do. So then you kind of stick to your script more, whereas if it's conversational, it's, it's easier, um, I think, to do the improv thing. 